Dear students, today we learn something about surface area and volume. Last chapter. In statistics, they don't ask usually out of syllabus. All types are there in the textbook and we have solved problems. You will find no difficulties. Mean, mode, median. Mean is guarantee question. Mode or median, one question. And graph for state syllabus, one question. More than, less than type. Here, I have written some six important solid figures. Cube, cuboid, cylinder, cone, hemisphere, sphere, lateral surface area, total surface area and volume. You have to prepare the chart. Don't buy heart. Prepare the chart. Understand the concept. For example, if you want a cube, say for example, this is cuboid. Lateral surface means this, this part, this part, this part. Which when you rotate, the part which you see, except the top and the bottom, that area is called LSA, lateral surface area. You know length, breadth, height. So LH, BH, LH, BH. That is 2H common L plus B. For TSA, you have to consider top and the bottom. So therefore, all will be repeated. LH, BH, LH, BH, LB, LB. That is why 2 is taken common. And for volume, remember the basic information, base area into height. For example, you want cuboid, base area. It is, base is here. Length, height, breadth. So, length into breadth is a base area. Height is H. So, that is called LBH. In this way, you can remember what you call formula. Remember the diagram, the solid diagram, then you will understand what it is. Now I am going to solve some four to five different problems. These are really very important out of syllabus. Volume of cube is given. First problem. Volume of cube is given as 2, 7, 4, 4 centimeter cube. Then, what is its surface area? To find the surface area, we want side, you know, A. So, volume is A cube. When you remove the cube, you will write cube root of volume 2744. Complete the root, you write A. It is a perfect cube of 14. So therefore A is 14 centimeter. You got. You want what you call surface area. Surface area is 6A square. That is 6 into 14 square. 14 square is 196. 196 into 6 is 1176 centimeter square. If they ask it for two marks, remember you have to write all the steps. If they ask it for one mark objective, you must know volume. Then it is a cube of what? 14. They give perfect cube. If such type of problems, when they want to ask, they give cubes, perfect cubes. Immediately, you note down, multiply by 6, you will get the answer. It may be asked for one mark. It may be asked for two marks. When they ask for descriptive purpose, I told in my videos, you have to write the contents in the symbolic manner. V given surface area question mark formula A cube steps with unit again formula steps answer again unit. They check all. So that is why you must know how to solve this problem. I think you have understood this problem. After this, I go to another problem. Another problem. Say, he has asked in the second one, 
TSA of cylinder to the LSA of cylinder. Question mark. Base radius is to height is 80 is to 20 centimeter. 80 is to 20. Both base area is given. Base area means say uh, base radius it is actually radius R it is height. You want TSA to the LSA. TSA formula is 2 pi r into r plus h divided by LSA of cylinder. It is 2 pi r h over 2 pi r 2 pi r cancels r plus h 80 plus 20 is 100 divided by height is 20. I hope 5 by 1 or 5 is to 1. So, such questions may be asked for one mark objectives. So, that is over. This is how you can start thinking about the problem. So, I rub this also. Next, I go to, I go to another problem. LSA of, LSA is a third problem. LSA of cylinder is given as 176 centimeter square. Base area, base area, it is a pi r square, is given as 38.5 centimeter square. You have to find what you call volume, question mark. To know the volume of cylinder, cylinder, you must know radius and height. He has, here he has not given radius and height. Then base area formula you write. Base area formula is pi r square given as 38.5. Pi is 22 by 7 into r square equal to 38.5. If you shift it, it will be r square 38.5 into 7 divided by 22. 11 to the 11 3 za 11 5 za again this is 3.5 3 r square is 3.5 into 3.5 therefore r will be 3.5 centimeter you now after getting the value of r equal to 3.5 you must know lsa of cylinder is 2 pi r h LSA is 176, 2 into 22 by 7, radius instead of 3.5, write it as 7 by 2 into H, 2 1s are, 2 11s are, 7 7 cancels, 11 2s are 22, 176 by 22 equal to H, 1s are, 8s are, height equal to 8, you have got height, you have got radius, now you want what you call uh, volume. I saw volume here. Volume is equal to pi r square h pi r square radius 7 by 2 7 by 2 into what you call h. H is 8. 7 7 cancels 2 1s are 2 4s are 2 1s are 2 11s are when you multiply all these things you are going to get a 308 centimeter cube. Try to understand in this problem, we are using pi r square base. You are using LSA and also using volume. Three formulae are there. First part is this, second part is this, third and final part is this. So, four marks questions, three marks questions, two marks questions. They ask it for one mark. You must be fast. You write the formula, fill up, but don't solve according to. You can cancel directly. 2 1s are 2 11s are. 11 2s are 22, 22 8s are. Directly. Don't write all these steps for one mark objectives. Because within a one minute, you have to answer for the question. Within one minute. Sometimes you may take maximum two minutes not for all but for some difficulty problems 
So this is over now. Now I go to one more very interesting problem. Interesting problem. Number four. Very interesting problem. Volume of <coughs> sphere. Two spheres. Sphere one, sphere two. Is given as 8 by 27. Find surface area of sphere. You must know he has asked you to find. You must know surface area of the sphere is 4 pi r square by 4 pi r square. Capital R for one sphere, small r for another sphere. 4 pi cancels. What you get is r square by r square. We don't know capital R and small r of the sphere. Now he has given 8 by 27. Volume of the sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube divided by 4 by 3 pi r cube equal to how much he has given? 8 by 27. You know that these two cancel. Both are cubes. Means you can write r upon r equal to cube root of 8 by 27. Cube root of 8 by 27 is none other than 2 by 3. Capital R upon small r is 2 by 3. Then you fill up here. That is a 2 square by 3 square. 4 is to 9. This question actually they ask it for one mark. 4 is to 9 is one among the answers. So you must be careful. You must know cube root of these two. And then you will get square. Then directly write 4 is to 9. Choose that. Simply don't waste the time. But for two marks I told you, you to write all the steps. Now we go to another interesting problem. Very very interesting. Fifth sum. This could be the last sum. So variety, how to solve the problems. So in this way, in our tuition class, we will solve all the types of problems. It is only just like, you know, a trailer, you can say. I mean, you are able to find how to solve the problem. So we are, yes, say, helping you, you people, reminding you people to understand the concepts. <coughs> Another question is cone hemisphere and cylinder they have equal basis they have equal basis and same height same height equal basis means radius is same for the cone, for the hemisphere and for the cylinder. What he has asked to find the ratio of their volumes. Volume of cone is 2. Volume of hemisphere is 2. Volume of cylinder. It is a question mark. Unexpected. You must know volume of cone. Volume of cone is 1 by 3 pi r square h. Hemisphere 2 by 3 pi r square h. Volume of cylinder pi r square h. 1 by 3 pi. R, r square same. Height and radius both are same. So h I write as r. Because, because R is equal to H. So, in place of H, I replace it by R. It becomes R cube. 2 by 3. R, R into R. Again, R cube. H, R. It is pi R cube. Here, you watch carefully. Denominator is 3. Divide, multiply throughout by 3. 3 by 3, you will get pi r cube. 3 by 3, 
you will get 2 pi r cube. Multiply by 3, you will get a 3 pi r cube. You have to multiply by 3. Multiply. Now, pi r cube, pi r cube, pi r cube, they get cancelled. That means they are common, cancelled. So, what is the ratio? Final answer 1 is to 2 is to 3. For CBSE, remember, you may get such questions. First term of cone is not there for your syllabus. And for state syllabus, remember, first term of cone, you can just go through the problems which are already given in the exercise and solved problem, solved exercise. And in our notes, additional problems are given, you please go through. Meanwhile, if you find any doubts, I already told you my phone number. 974375603 it is joshi my number you can contact me between 7 pm to 9 pm another number 9844193198 it is sripad kulkarni for mathematics you can ask any questions before don't send the messages First, you make a call. Then you tell that we are having some difficulties in mathematics. Uh, we are sending. Please uh, uh, answer for this question. First, you call us. Then we will uh, send through WhatsApp. We will solve and we send it to your mobile. So in this way, we are going to help you. Don't worry. Uh, statistics, I'm not going to solve because it's very easy. Very difficult problems where we have solved some uh, difficult uh, problems for the difficult uh, chapters so in this way students again we will meet for uh, some uh, bio informations and a light chapter in physics and two more chapters in science also thank you very much